Yeah, try to hit record this time, okay? Please. Okay, it's Thank red you. dot. It's red dot. It's red dot. <laughs> so embarrassing. Oh, so embarrassing. I was talking like two minutes by myself, <laughs> and the camera just shut off. Shut off, and then it was like, okay. So now that my daughter pushed the record button, I'm gonna say, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, lately I've been really, really down. Um, recently my grandmother passed away. She lived a very full life. She was 92 years old. She was like the hardest, wittiest, funniest woman ever. Um, sorry, I get like emotional. She was so smart and so charismatic and she is no longer with us and so lately I've been struggling to just keep my mood up and excuse me hold on Starla can you bring me a napkin Ugh, I bet I ruined my freaking face I wasn't gonna cry And I wasn't gonna eat a biscuit <laughs> today. <laughs> uh, there goes all this stupid ass makeup. <laughs> Beautiful. The state of the world in itself is just so sad. I feel so sad about everything that's happening. <laughs> For all the rioting and I just feel like with the COVID, I feel like our world is just so sad and it's like, I, can't, I feel like for some reason I'm just like absorbing it all. And my grandmother's passing like hasn't helped. So it's been tough on me lately, but um, I'm getting through it. I have my kids here and they make me laugh every day and I'm so glad that I get to share that with them. I just been thinking a lot about how lucky it is, you know, to age. You know, you see people getting older and it's such a privilege that people don't understand, you know, to just be able to worry about wrinkles and worry about silver hairs people don't like the way they look with them and every time i see one grow out of my head i just get excited it makes me happy to see the wrinkles on my face the way my face looks when it matures i enjoy every bit of it because it's a privilege you know and I understand that. And it's just so hard to express that to somebody who doesn't have that perspective. You know, and lately I've just, like right now I'm filming this video at three in the morning because I try really hard to keep it together during the day. And it's not that I don't have people here to support me because I do, my husband's an amazing support. My daughter started, she's an amazing support system. It's just that I don't want to express that negativity in the world. I want to cry for the world by myself because I don't want to spread that around. But I also know that I'm the one that's responsible for my happiness. I'm responsible for the thoughts that go that I think in my brain for the things that I want to project out into the world. And so I've just been really working through a lot of my sadness lately and it helps me. I'm just moving a little bit slower and Anything that's small, that's super enjoyable, I like, find. Oh, 
<laughs> I like that. <laughs> that is so funny. Um. <laughs> like my son, he's so funny. He has his headphones in. He has no idea that I'm crying right now. <laughs> so like, hearing him like laugh makes me laugh. But just. Go on the shit. I guess just letting out my sadness and just crying about it and releasing it out, you know, has been good. But I'm just trying to put my positive thoughts in front of my, in front of my feet so that I can just keep chasing them. And then eventually I'll get myself out of this mood, you know. It's just so scary out there right now. And I really haven't been out side of this house until my grandma's funeral and it was very scary and weird I feel like I call myself a goldfish now because I'm always inside the house with the windows and it's like the first time I went out and I was around people and I can't wear a mask because when I put a mask on I feel like I'm suffocating my oxygen gets all wonky and I get all like out of breath even more so I don't wear a mask when I go outside because I can't, you know? And so when I see people and I don't have a mask on, they're like, what are you doing, you know? And it's like, I can't wear one, you know? But I guess it was just weird because the first time I had to be out of the house was for the funeral and I was just around a ton of people and it was just, it was super scary, but it was like, I'm already doing it. I'm already out of the house. I'm already contaminated. I'm already vulnerable to whatever the hell's gonna get me at this point. So might as well just live my life. You know what I mean? And since the funeral, I've been back in the house and stuff and, you know, quarantine, but I just feel like we have to live our lives. It's, it's just difficult to make a decision when you're willing to throw the dice and gamble or like what's worth it and what's not, you know? So I felt like like an alien because I was like, what are these lines on the floor for? And I was just like walking up to like the de front desk of places and they were like, woo, like, <laughs> and I was just like, oh crap. Like, you know, I, I just didn't have any of the etiquette or like down or whatever. And like the social distancing, I was totally uh, unaware, you know? It's just, it's hard because you just, forget in a weird way when you're just living in the house like I have been living so it's kind of funny but I mean I guess we just have to live our lives you know and just deal with that but my sadness lately has been kind of overwhelming a little bit more than my normal self and it's just like a struggling period that I, I'm gonna get through but I just gotta give myself time like I gotta give myself the time to like recoup my feelings and just really release everything that that's kept going on inside of me you know but um it's a scary place and I'm just praying for the world and I'm praying for everybody's hearts to get mended and myself included and that's pretty much all I have to say for this video today so I'm your PH friend from Texas, and I will see you in the next video. And hopefully, I will not be crying. <laughs> so, bye.